Welcome back to the Calm Mind channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that might just change the way you view the people around you. We often categorize people based on their actions, their words, or their outward appearances. But what if I told you that the most dangerous person could be the one who simply listens, thinks, and observes? These three traits, listening, thinking, observing, they might seem passive, even harmless. But when combined, they form a powerful trifecta that can influence, strategize, and even manipulate situations. In this video, we're going to explore each of these traits in depth, understand their power, and learn why we should never underestimate the person who embodies them. We'll also share some tips on how to interact with such individuals and how to cultivate these traits in ourselves. So, are you ready to delve into the world of the listener, the thinker, the observer? Let's get started. The power of listening. Let's start with the first trait, listening. Now, when I say listening, I'm not talking about simply hearing words. I'm talking about active listening. Active listening is about fully engaging with the speaker, understanding their message, and responding thoughtfully. It's about reading between the lines, picking up on non-verbal cues, and truly comprehending what's being said. Now, you might be wondering, how can this be dangerous? Well, think about it. A person who listens effectively has access to information, understands different perspectives, and can use this knowledge to their advantage. In this scenario, the listener is able to influence the direction of the meeting, simply by using the information they've gathered through active listening. So, never underestimate the power of a good listener. They're absorbing more than you might realize, and that knowledge can be a formidable tool. The strength in thinking. Now that we've explored the power of listening, let's move on to our second trait, thinking. When we talk about thinking, we're not just referring to the everyday, run-of-the-mill thought processes. We're talking about critical and analytical thinking, the ability to reason, to solve problems, to make decisions. Thinkers are the strategists, the problem solvers, the innovators. They're the ones who can take a complex situation, break it down, and find a solution. In this scenario, the thinker is able to navigate a challenging situation by using their analytical skills. But here's where it gets interesting. A deep thinker isn't just a problem solver. They're also a potential threat. Why? Because they can anticipate, strategize, and outmaneuver. Just like in a game of chess, a thinker can anticipate their opponent's moves and plan their strategy accordingly. So, the next time you encounter a deep thinker, remember, they're not just solving problems. They're also planning moves, and that can make them a formidable opponent. The insight of observation. We've explored the power of listening and the strength in thinking. Now, let's delve into our final trait, observation. Observation is more than just seeing. It's about noticing details, recognizing patterns, and making connections. It's about understanding the world around us on a deeper level. Observers are the detectives, the scientists, the artists. They're the ones who can pick up on the smallest details, the subtlest changes, the hidden patterns. In this scenario, the observer is able to uncover a crucial piece of information simply by being attentive to details. But just like with listening and thinking, observation can also be a double-edged sword. An observant person can use their insights to understand, to strategize, and even to manipulate. In this situation, the observer uses their insights to steer the situation in their favor. So, remember, an observant person isn't just noticing details. They're also understanding patterns and using their insights, which can make them a powerful ally or a formidable opponent. The Combination, Listener, Thinker, Observer We've explored the power of listening, the strength in thinking, and the insight of observation. Now, let's see what happens when these traits come together. When a person embodies all three traits, listening, thinking, observing, they become a force to be reckoned with. They can understand, strategize, and influence on a level that few can match. These individuals are the diplomats, the CEOs, the leaders. They're the ones who can navigate complex situations, influence people, and make strategic decisions. 
In this scenario, our individual uses their listening skills to understand the situation, their thinking skills to strategize, and their observation skills to influence the outcome. But as we've seen, these traits can also be used for manipulation and control. That's why it's crucial to recognize these traits in others and understand their potential implications. In this situation, the individual uses their skills not for resolution, but for manipulation. So, the next time you encounter someone who listens, thinks, and observes, remember, they're not just understanding the world. They're also influencing it, and that can make them a powerful ally or a dangerous adversary. How to recognize and interact with such individuals We've explored the traits of listening, thinking, and observing, and we've seen how they can create a powerful or even dangerous individual. Now, let's talk about how to recognize and interact with such individuals. Recognizing these traits in others can be tricky, but there are signs. Look for people who are attentive, who ask insightful questions, who notice details others miss, and who seem to always be a step ahead. When interacting with such individuals, it's important to be aware of their potential influence. Be open, but also be cautious. Remember, they're not just understanding you, they're also potentially influencing you. In this scenario, our individual is aware of the other person's traits and is able to interact with them in a mindful way. But it's not just about recognizing and interacting with these individuals. It's also about cultivating these traits in ourselves. By becoming better listeners, thinkers, and observers, we can understand and navigate the world more effectively. Developing these skills takes time and practice, but the benefits are worth it. You'll find yourself more in tune with your surroundings, more capable of handling complex situations, and more influential in your interactions. Conclusion We've come a long way in our exploration of the listener, the thinker, the observer. We've seen the power of these traits, the potential dangers, and the importance of recognizing and cultivating them. We've learned that the most dangerous person might be the one who listens, thinks, and observes. But they can also be the most insightful, the most strategic, and the most influential. In our interactions, it's crucial to be aware of these traits in others and in ourselves. By understanding and developing these skills, we can navigate the world more effectively and become more influential in our own right. So, let's strive to be better listeners, more thoughtful thinkers, and more observant observers. Let's use these skills not for manipulation, but for understanding, for resolution, for positive influence. Remember, the world is not just about action. It's also about understanding, and the key to understanding lies in listening, thinking, and observing. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We hope you found it insightful and thought-provoking. Stay tuned for more discussions on fascinating topics.